Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Tough red wheel of traffic, Cherokee 7840 November is engine out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you coming back by to watch another video. So you'll notice if you watch some of my previous videos that one of my favorite things to do is to take people flying for the very first time. Now with that, I always get the question from the nervous first time passenger, what happens if the engine quits? Do we fall out of the sky? No, you don't fall out of the sky. And really, there's a famous police officer that summed it up quite well. Thank you. That wasn't flying. That was falling with style. So the purpose of today's video was twofold. Number one, we're going to answer that question. What happens when your engine goes out in an airplane? Number two, you'll notice if you watched one of the previous videos, I always talk about how I fly with an app called ForeFly. Now ForeFly takes the technical information I enter about my airplane and it calculates the wind velocity, wind direction, the terrain in the area it basically gives me a glide ring and what that means is in theory you should be able to safely glide to a landing anywhere inside of this ring so i've always wanted to test it out and never taken the time to do so but today we're going to try it out so stick around i hope you enjoy the video All right, here we go. You ready? Ready. Got it. We're in the air. already at 3,000 feet. It doesn't really seem that high, but it really is. No. What's that over there? What's that? What's what? It looks like smoke. Oh, that's the nuclear plant. All the way down at Baxley. Because the uh, we got such good visibility today, you can see all the way to the nuclear plant at Baxley. Man, this is a pretty day to be flying. All right, Jake Rue, you want to fly a little bit? You want to fly? Here, let's slide you on up there a little bit. All right, so if you look out the window, if you want to go to the right, all you got to do is just Start going to the right a little bit. I'll work the rudder, pe rudder pedal since it's... Uh, can you put your feet on those pedals right there? A little bit? All right, so the way to think of those pedals is think of them kind of being like brakes for the wing. If you want to go to the right, which means you want that right wing to slow down a little bit, you push on that right pedal, and it kind of acts like a wing, I mean a brake for the wing almost. So if you want to go to the right, you'll just slowly turn the yoke to the right, and give it just a little bit of the right pedal down there. And we made a right turn. Now if you want to go left, you step on that left pedal a little bit and turn that thing. 
turning to the left. And when you turn, you have to pull back on it just a little bit because you lose a little bit of that lift. So you have to pull back on the yoke. There we go. All right, now if you want to go down, you slowly push it forward. There you go, now we're going down. If you want to go up, you slowly pull back. There we go, you're flying an airplane all by yourself. How about that? You want to land it by yourself? No. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Maybe next time. All right, you want to do some zero Gs? Yes. All right, here we go. Now we get the zero G feeling, that light feeling in our stomach is. We go back like we're climbing, and then we just... <laughs> oh, that's how we get that. All right, you want to feel heavy in your seat? All right, we're going to slow down our airspeed to some a maneuvering airspeed. There we go. So, luckily we can see clear. Nobody's around us. The iPad says nobody's around us. So, we will enter a turn. And are you ready? Yep. And here we go. <laughs> you feel that? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> hey. Ooh. <laughs> Does that make you feel funny? Yep. All right. So you see here on the on my iPad that green ring right there? Yeah. That thing is telling us, based on the calculations of the wind, the terrain, and how high we are, if our engine cut off right now, we should be able to land anywhere inside that green circle. Meaning, um, we could pick out a road like this road. If it's inside our green circle, we should be able to glide to it. Jake and I are gonna do a simulated engine out procedure. Now, according to ForeFlight, I'm going to wait until we get just inside the green ring for the airport. When it does, I'm going to pull the throttle back to idle, and we'll do a simulated engine out procedure to see if we can make the runway. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm just so glad you volunteered to come along today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there goes our engine. It's got a pitch for 83. Pitching for 83. All right, engine failure in flight. Pick suitable landing site. All right, we got the airport inside. We'll do that. All right, fuel pumps on. Fuel pumps on. Carb heat. Carb heat. Mixture is rich. Mixture is rich. Fuel selector fullest tank. Fullest tank. Uh, fuel Magnetos is on both. Magnetos on both. Primer in. Light is locked. All right, we're gonna try to restart. 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 Nope, no restart. All right, one two one point five. Change our radio to one two one point five. All right, then we make it radio call. Mayday! 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 Tell for the traffic, Cherokee 7840 November is engine out, uh, inbound for runway three. The mixture mags and fuel, everything's off. Mags off, fuel's off. All right, looking for 85. Are we gonna make it, Jake? Are we gonna make yep. it? Yep. All right. Oh, 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 it's gonna be so close. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Woo! We made it, Jake. Yeah. We made it. Boom! We made it. That shows you right there that if your engine goes out while you're flying the airplane, just like that, you can safely glide down and make a smooth landing.
Man, well, that worked out cool. Was you worried a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit? Uh, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you did good, though. You seemed like you was calm. Maybe because you were shivering, I don't know. There you have it, folks. If you've ever wondered, is it safe to fly? What happens if your engine goes off just like that? You got a series, a checklist that you go through to try to troubleshoot any problems. If at the end of the day you say, you know what, we're just going to have to ditch it, we can't help it, we'll find a road in South Georgia, we can definitely find a field, or we'll look, in our case we had an airport, and you can safely glide down and touch the runway or the roadway just like you had planned it. Get it? Planned it? <laughs> All right. Take me home, Jackaroo. Take me home. Which way am I going? I'll keep going straight. Okay. Wanna go buzz mama real quick? Wanna go buzz the house? What you think? You gonna learn how to fly one day now? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Man, we could go on all kinds of trips. We'll leave everybody else at home, but we'll just fly around and have trips. I have somebody to fly with. Barry, I know you're going to watch this video. Jake's going to take your place. Don't let it break your heart. I know that we always fly everywhere together. And I hate to do this to our relationship, but Jake, he's got to beat. All right, here is a federal or a private prison here in Alamo. You see the water towers right here? There's three of them. Just past that is the school. That is the Wheeler County Elementary School. Telford Wheeler traffic, Cherokee 7840 November is left downwind for three. Telford Wheeler traffic. All right, so when I I don't know if you can see up the runways right here. We're going to land back that way, but when I'm right here, the numbers are at my shoulder. I bring it back to 1800 RPMs and I get the first notch of flaps in. Throw my sunglasses away. And I try to look for 90 on the airspeed. When the numbers are about 45 degrees angle off my shoulder, then I turn base. Telford with the traffic, Cherokee 7840 November is turning left base for three. Telford with it. And then I drop it down to 1500 RPMs. Telford with the traffic, 7840 November is turning final for three. Telford with the traffic. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this video here today. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If our aviation adventures is something that you find interesting, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And, and if you've been holding out on that first airplane ride because you had a little bit of fear or anxiety, I hope today's video helps you to find some courage to jump in there. It's safe. It's fun. You will not regret it. So get out there, you only live once, and make the most of it. But hey, you don't need a pep talk from me. Just get out there and do it. See ya.